Good morning, Eric Allinger, field agronomist with Pioneer. I wanted to take a few minutes to uh, discuss with you uh, diseases that you're seeing in your cornfield right now, and those that are of major economic importance and those that are uh, maybe not so much. So let's start with a minor importance. Uh, this is actually a physoderma leaf spot. And physoderma on this stalk is characterized by uh, these purple or brownish purple uh, freckles or spots on the leaf collars in the stalk itself. And you'll also really see them on the leaves in the midrib. You'll see them there, as well as bands, banding that occurs on the leaf, and that's caused by free water in the whirl as the plant was, uh, as the leaf was still rolled up. So, uh, not a big deal, but we're seeing some out here, especially in compacted and stressed areas. Another disease that gets a lot of attention, but really is not a big deal, is common rust. This is a disease that occurs early in the year with cool temperatures, and is characterized by uh, color by a cinnamon brown color you'll often often see reference was made to and you'll also see the presence of this on both sides of the leaf so you see upper lower leaf surfaces in a cinnamon brown color and we're going to talk some later a little bit about southern rust and that's a, that is a disease of major importance another disease we're seeing this year is diplodia leaf streak it may also be referred to as diplodia macrospora you see it in a couple of versions here. You see a, a lesion with a target or, or an eye in it that uh, may have the elect elliptical appearance of uh, similar to northern leaf blight. And then something a little more elongated or linear, but still diplodia, um, leaf streak indeed. And uh, you'll see that sort of both ways. We're seeing more of this this year. Uh, it, it's common, uh, but, but certainly not of an ep epidemic level. And again, not considered, considered to be of economic importance. As we transition into diseases that are of economic importance, this would be the this would be one of the main ones, and this is northern corn leaf blight. Uh, best known for its shape uh, that that looks like a cigar. You'll often hear that uh, northern leaf blight has a, a elliptical cigar-shaped lesion, and this is exactly what you're seeing here. Uh, northern leaf blight is one that does scare us. It's it's what we call a fast mover. It sporulates and reproduces in a short amount of time, seven to nine days sometimes. Uh, if you throw in a hybrid that's susceptible and, and favorable weather, you can have a mess on your hands in short order. So uh, check your hybrid, check its rating. Uh, corn on corn would be a, would be a, a, a thing that you want to keep watch of. Lesions can develop low in the canopy from residue or high in the canopy from spore showers that get rained on from up above. So it could be carried by winds aloft and then deposited in the top of your canopy uh, by wind. So something you want to keep an eye on there. Uh, another disease that uh, you're probably well familiar with is gray leaf spot. And this is a lesion that's uh, uh, characterized by its rectangular shape. Sides are parallel, remain within uh, the veins on the leaf and sort of squared off on the ends. This is a single lesion. You know, trouble with this disease occurs when those lesions coalesce or come together on a susceptible hybrid. You'll see it now low in the canopy, and we are seeing it, we are seeing it develop. So uh, uh, again, these are all diseases we want you to keep an eye on, northern and gray. And then we're gonna to talk to you real soon about southern rust. It, it kind of deserves a little attention all its own, uh, especially when you've got the right weather set up. So, uh, in the comments section today, we're going to include a link uh, to a publication from Dr. Kirsten Wise at the University of Kentucky. It's a wonderful reference piece on decision making and identification of diseases. So we really encourage you to print that, look at it, take it with you, and read it and learn about it. I uh, want to thank you as always for watching. Uh, feel free at any time to reach out to Pioneer Agronomy and Sales Team and allow us to help you in any way we can. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.